Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. IPv4 and IPv6 will coexist for a long time. Many techniques were developed to handle this transition. These techniques can be summarized into three categories dual stack, tunneling, and translation. Today, my topic is dual stack, a simple transition solution. A dual stack device supports both IPv4 and IPv6, and such a device can be a PC, a server, or a router. Let's take a look at one example to show how this method works. In this example, I try to make IPv6 address look simple just for the sake of learning. Host A is a dual stacked device. Suppose the host wants to communicate with a remote server at example.com. The first step for host A is to communicate with its local DNS server asking for all available IP addresses of example.com, such as I need IP address of example.com. The DNS server gets the request and replies with both IPv4 and IPv6 addresses. Type AAA record is IPv6 address and type A record is IPv4 address. And this is the second step. Then the host chooses IPv4 or IPv6 to use. In most cases, IPv6 is chosen by default. Thus, IPv6 session is established, and this is the last step. But what happens if IPv6 does not work with the server at example.com? The client would experience some delay. The reason is simple. When IPv6 connection field, the client would try again to establish the connection use IPv4. Thus, the client would take two trips to the server. In order to solve this kind of a delay, an application called Happy Eyeballs comes to its rescue. With Happy Eyeballs working together with a browser, a dual stacked device makes more aggressive connection over both IPv4 and IPv6 simultaneously, but trying IPv6 first. If the connection doesn't go through within 300 milliseconds, the device attempts the connection over IPv4, thus it would save some time. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you very much, and see you next time. Oh, don't forget to subscribe.